Hey, what's up? It's Cecily and it's This Week in Ride Your News. Do you know where your Uber Eats has been? Well, you probably could guess a few places, the car, the restaurant, but if someone told you if it was in the bathroom, would you be upset? I know I would. Uh, I made a few videos a couple years ago about um, DoorDash and Uber Eats actually allowing restaurants to tell drivers to make the soda. Those videos weren't that popular. And when people uh, saw those videos, they were like, oh, just relax, you know, go ahead and make the soda, it's not that big a deal. Well, I'm thinking after you see this Uber Eats bag on the floor, that you'd probably think, maybe I don't want that guy to make my soda. So it kind of proves my point that drivers can be and probably are disgusting. And that's fine because you're not hired to prepare food. You're not a food preparer. You are a driver. Uh, this video, this actually this photo was posted to a Facebook group and it has been circulating all over the internet. People are horrified. But what do you think is gonna happen? People are trying to deliver things as fast as they can it's completely possible that your food may end up in strange places because of that. Uh, I like to encourage drivers to use the bathroom in between trips if you can. And if not, if you go into a restaurant, use the restroom before you pick the food up. And that also includes washing your hands with soap. So uh, sorry for the visual, but this is real. It's about as real as it gets. And this is what's happening out here. It's not just Uber Eats, it's everybody. If you haven't heard, the PIN system is live here in Los Angeles. I received a notification. Uh, this is gonna go up on Saturday, but the notification we received on Thursday. California drivers will be able to test the PIN system out and to see if it's all that we hope it's going to be. I don't know about you guys, but I have sat down plenty of time in my car with the doors unlocked, I know that's bad, but you're just so used to it, and people have hopped in my car. Talk about the scariest of situations. I've had people run up on my car and say, no, this is my car, this is my car, and thinking that I was their car when I actually wasn't, especially those folks who are drunk, or those folks who just wanna hijack an Uber and get home, they don't care. So the PIN system is supposed to make things extra safe for both riders and drivers. If you have used it today, I haven't used it well, yet because I just found out about it, but by the time this video posts, I would have used it and I'll probably have a video on it on my channel. Let's move on to the next topic. A Lyft driver is trying to clear his name after a viral Facebook post. A Lyft driver by the name of William Thomas uh, received a call from his family members, actually several calls saying that there was someone that was warning others about him. He picked up a passenger, the passenger complained of being sick. A Lyft driver is trying to clear his name after a viral Facebook post. A Lyft driver by the name of William Thomas uh, received a call from his family members, actually several calls saying that there was someone that was warning others about him. My face is plastered everywhere, all down in Florida. He picked up a passenger, the passenger complained of being sick, and he offered a remedy. And I said, how are you doing? Which I do all everybody. And she said, uh, I'm sick. William, getting over a cold himself, offered her some peppermint oil. He and his wife are big into essential oils after her brain aneurysm three years ago. He gave her a napkin, it had, was doused in a little bit of oil, and he said, all you need to do is to inhale in this area. She, in turn, took a picture of the napkin and said, I'm afraid for my life right now. This Lyft driver just gave me this, let me out. What's funny is she never verbalized this to him. She never said anything to him at all. She wrote a post and saying that she was scared for her life, and she said the whole ride she was scared uh, that this man was trying to kill her. Yeah, that's, that's my whatever face. Not only is the story up in the so-called evidence but pictures of him, pictures of his car, pictures of his license plate. She also mentions that she's gonna contact the police. Well, the police don't contact William because there's no crime being committed here. The wonderful thing about the story is that Fox 2 actually gives William the chance to clear his name. Now, every single week when I go and look for stories, I see this happening all the time. People will take pictures of you and they will post random stories about you to get some sort of cloud or to feel good in the moment. Like, this happens all the time. So if I see you out there, I'll let you know, okay? <laughs> and the thing about it is these things 
rarely go like that viral where the where the person that they're talking about would actually know about it but this story in general i think mm, something's not right here i think that's why it went viral but the great thing about it is that there's so many people that have aligned with william to actually spread what they perceive to be the truth well, i tried to find the original post i can't find it now they said that it's still up that she refuses to take it down but I, there's so many people that are sharing this story just just to circulate what really happened in um you know in support of william and i think that's awesome i just haven't seen people within the community right your community and outside of the community align with someone to you know to counter how um irresponsible i think that that was for her to do that especially when her silly behind got out of the car and he probably said good night and everything i'm like you didn't what you thought that that was the only way that he could have killed you like you made it to your destination fine you're good he probably bid you adieu and like just some people are just Just a lot of like hoaxes and a lot of people just really trying to get it. The attention seeking is really starting to to piss me off. But not only that, it makes it worse for people who actually do need assistance, for people that do have, you know, that actually are going through things. We're going to be less apt to even believe them because of all the other folks that are setting themselves on fire and wanting attention. But at any rate, I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you if you feel inclined we'll share this uh story as well to help clear william's name i'll be doing it myself right now i'll be right back now i've had some fairly interesting delivery instructions but none as weird as this that is right these guys have asked their uber eats driver to throw the bag of food looks like mcdonald's up to their patio not surprised that that happened the fall was pretty pretty hilarious though your customer asked for you to catapult their food do you say yes or no and a bonus question who do you think is responsible for this foolishness should the driver even have to be liable for this foolishness should he get up and just say delivered on his app and go about his business let me know in the comments thank you guys for watching we got one more weekend before christmas hopefully you guys have everything you need and this is just a bonus weekend for you i'm praying as such uh i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful holiday and i will see you back here next saturday please subscribe if you're not subscribed if you don't know who i am my name is cecily and I have a, a channel called and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can find me there on YouTube or Facebook. Peace out.